Well, sobriety checkpoints to me represent um, accountability and transparency. Accountability because we have expectations as drivers that our roads are safe. And we know that impaired drivers represent a risk. Now, we're also finding out information about cell phone use that might be as uh, dangerous as, as impaired driving, but to stay within impaired driving, the, they, it's, it's shown that the best way to manage it is to enforce the law. So if we say um, don't drive impaired, then what are the consequences? And one of the ways to ensure people don't drive impaired is that you increase the risk of being caught. How do you increase the, increase the risk of being caught? You have spot checks, both um, I think uh, random spot checks at times and maybe planned spot checks. I think there's a lot of people who think, well, Hamilton has so many exits. Um, so maybe at a certain time of night, we have planned spot checks, but maybe there's some energy in the community to increase safety by increasing sometimes our inconvenience of being involved in a spot check, even when we're not at risk. We're not somebody who's been drinking. And I think that by enforcing it, it sends the right message that we care about the safety of our roads. We care about reducing the number of accidents and the, the trauma that's associated that with the people that are being injured and the family members that have to deal with the ramifications of that. And so we're prepared to be inconvenienced today for five or 10 minutes for a lifetime uh, change that, that's not gonna occur as a result of an impaired driver.